in English? What what were they saying? <laughs> and mm. it is not turning on. Not good since we're boondocking. No. Yeah. Okay. So no error codes. There's no error codes being displayed. You'll be able to turn in there with that big old ditch. You think you can make that? I think so. Without well, without putting us in the ditch? mid-1800s my great-grandfather came out and homesteaded it. A nice five days and yeah, we're enjoyed it. heading out now and on to the the next chapter if you will. Yeah, yeah, we'll get a little uh, pit stop first, mm -hmm. get the little chore done and then yep. uh, off to uh, Alabama. Pit stop, yeah. So we got the generator diagnosed and serviced, mm -hmm. and now we just have to get a battery. Yes, that was slightly unexpected. Yeah, because voltage was <laughs> fine, but um, tested the amps and yeah, not so fine. Not so good. Yeah. Between now and January, we've got to. Yeah. <laughs> we got to get some batteries. Yeah. At least it was Start. nothing serious. It was nothing specifically with the generator. So yeah, yeah, it wasn't the fuel. Yeah, nothing internal. So good news, it was just the battery. So yeah. that's easily fixed. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So now on to our next stop. On to the next stop and towards Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we have just arrived at our next. Pit stop, RBH Lifestyles. Care to let everybody know why we're here? <laughs> well, tomorrow mm -hmm. I will let everyone know. Tonight I have to check into just a few things to see if what I want to do is possible. So they're going to make some mods, hopefully. Hopefully they'll make some modifications, but not to what you think. <laughs> Good morning everyone from Dennis, Kansas. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I don't know what Dennis's claim to fame is except that RVH Lifestyles is here. So what are we looking at doing? We're wanting to modify the, the hitch that's on the smart car. They used to make a hitch for the 15s and earlier, that's the 451s, but they didn't for the 16s and 17s because they stopped making them. Yeah. And Kurt, who made the hitch, said, no more that's it but we have a hitch but when we put our and we use it to uh winch our smart car up on the bed mm -hmm. which works great but when we put our e-bikes on it Ooh. a little bit of flex on it a lot and the bikes just flop all over the place yeah so it hasn't broken and it might hold but I don't know. I don't like the balancing. Yeah, the it's balancing's scary. not good. We think the design is a little bit under um, yeah. what it should be. It should be a little stronger. Mm -hmm. So we're here at RVH. We're going to see if they can modify our hitch on the smart car. Might be the only one like it out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. We're going to see. All right, the review is complete yes. of our little hitch problem. And there is no hitch in the problem solving <laughs> or in the resolution is this why of the you problem. You wanted to turn on the camera? Oh my gosh! Uh, 
All right, so they took a look at it, did some investigation, and, and there is the, a remedy. Yeah, and the nice thing is they put the bikes on there. Yes. And and we didn't have to lift it and put it on there. That was and the real nice part. they saw where it was flexing really bad, so. Yep, so they've got a solution, mm -hmm. and they're just going to build a whole new hitch. Yeah. <laughs> better materials, better design. Yeah. And should be a lot better for the e-bikes. Yes. So we're excited about that. Mm -hmm. Our minds and hearts are still up north. Yeah, for a split second, I saw that GPS and it said James River, and I thought it said ferry, <laughs> not freeway, the abbreviation for freeway, so, <laughs> yeah. We pulled out from Dennis, Kansas. It was a good visit. Very good pit stop, yes. And we very productive. Yeah, it was. We accomplished everything that we wanted to do, actually. And then some. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. We got a little bonus on that. They're also gonna pull the bed off. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a second. The bed? I thought we were just talking about the smart hitch. All right, so the bed is on the truck. We've got to take it off. This is a story that goes back four years, actually five. Uh, but when we had our spacecraft built, it came in a little hefty. More weight than what our single axle truck, which was originally came from the factory designed that way, could handle. So we had to add a second axle, a tandem set to it. We went to Custom Truck in Kansas City and they did it, did a great job. But we were idiots. We did not add a power tandem. It was just simply a tag axle for weight. We weren't thinking, we got some bad advice. Anyhow, that's a long story and I don't care to go into it. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have RVH pull the bed off. We're gonna take this back to Custom Truck in Kansas City because we went there before visiting RVH and before the HDT uh, rally. They checked it out looked at it, they actually had a tandem set for a Volvo. It's actually the upgraded version of what ours is. So they, uh, they've got one, it's on uh, reserve for us. So we're gonna take the truck back up there. They're gonna swap out our tandem for this powered set of tandems. Both of our axles will be drive axles, which will be really sweet. All right, so two gentlemen just stopped by to take a look at underneath the skirt of Voyager. And in English, what, what were they saying? <laughs> yeah, so basically we've got uh, 43,000 pound capacity with our existing Oh, and that's what they meant by the 40. Yeah. Is if we drop it from 43 down to 40. Right, because they're trying to find a match set of... 43 which is extremely uncommon yeah. but a match set of 40s 220s much easier to find probably less expensive and we don't need the 43 we don't need 43 40 way, is more than fine we're way over as it is yeah in a good way in a good way okay. so that's what they're talking about okay thank you because <laughs> we've had problems we've gotten stuck or almost stuck in almost uh, small little areas like dew on the grass. It doesn't take much. Any undulation of the ground and our drive starts to spin because our tag axle pulls it up. So going back to Custom Truck, they uh, have said that they can do it, but they had to have the bed pulled off. They didn't want to do that. So when we were at RVH, we talked to them and they said, sure, we'll pull it off. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, the smart hitch and the bed of the truck and we're going to get a power tandem installed on the truck and then we can go to a lot of places they even looked under to make sure that so they, they said they could do it yep. so um so they were not the original manufacturer of the bed but they did say that they could pull it off and 
allow us to get everything boxed up and and, and store the contents of Voyager uh, at their facility. Yeah, which is really nice because otherwise I'd have to find a storage facility, yeah. get boxes, box it up, take it to the facility. Yeah. And, and this is also going to save us a lot of time too. So oh, instead yeah. Instead of driving from, from Alabama to South Texas to Missouri, basically Kansas City, and then go back around. We're going to save some mileage and not have to dr take that drive from South Texas all the way up to Kansas City, uh, driving separately. Right, and uh, which would be nice, just a couple of hours up to yeah. KC. And plus, uh, they've got uh, a place for us if we need to spend the night. That's really nice too, so it just it's working out great. It is. And so now the plan's in place. Arkansas, are you going to yell out Woo Pig Suey? Woo Pig! Zoe, sing at a harvest host. It's a farm. In one quarter mile. Yeah. Right at 2235 Highway 230 West. I'm thinking this has got to be it because there's really nothing else in the area. Yeah. So, where do we go? She said pull in, but man, look at that ditch right there. You're going to be able to turn in there with that big old ditch. Oh man, David, I don't know about that. You think you can make that? I think so. Without. <laughs> well, without putting us in the ditch? Oh, yeah. Uh. <clears throat> this is like our first time out in six months, and you're doing this to me? Well, you know, you gotta start sometime. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I had like six inches. Oh, inches a mile, I guess, huh? Inches a mile. So when I talked to her, she said, go out back and go by the grass. So I'm thinking maybe over oh, okay. there. Yeah. Right, so we've uh, made it. Mm -hmm. We're not settled yet, but we've parked and we haven't <laughs> sunk, so the ground's nice and firm. <laughs> yeah. We are in Bono, Arkansas. It's a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. It's uh, really sunny, so you know what we're going to see. Uh uh. We're going to see Sonny Bono. <laughs> Get it? Isn't he We're dead? Bono, Arkansas. Well, he is, but I really like him and Cher. So this is for you, Sonny, that we're in Bono, and it's Sonny Bono, Arkansas. <laughs> All right, that's it for tonight. We'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> It was a nice overnight stop last night at uh, Pyle's Farm. It's a boondocker's welcome. Uh, Sandra would say that the roosters were crowing a little bit too much. I kind of like the atmosphere, but I'd say 1 a.m. in the morning is a little early. But we're going to get going uh, this morning and keep heading south and uh, east uh, towards Alabama. This little fellow has come to greet us this morning. He's been crowing all morning long. Traveling on a Sunday down to Alabama. And it's nice going through a bigger town on a Sunday because there's so much less traffic. Went through Memphis today and it was a breeze uh, across the Mississippi. That was a beautiful day. You've got so much to choose from. I know. I'm, you know, wow. So you go right next to this guy. Yeah. Oh, look at you I backing see the up. Pumps. Oh, I know. It's a nice little treat. <laughs> now, filling this thing up is not going to be a treat. Well, the afterwards, the process of filling it up is a treat compared to curiosity because I can just ram those nozzles in there put them on full blast yeah I love that I don't have to baby it no but then we <laughs> got to pay for the uh, fill yes, up that's not the fun part that's not the treat afterwards is paying for it no I've never had anyone take fuel from me but I've had these locking gas caps for several years and they work great a little bit of silicone in them every so often and keeps the tumblers nice and oiled and I uh, don't have any issues with people taking fuel, especially 
during these days where it is expensive. Well, we made it to the Hoover Met RV Park and we have never, ever seen it this busy. And then David went online last week and looked like there were plenty of spaces available. So, not sure what's going on. Even over here, yeah. there's trailers everywhere. Yeah, so there's something happening today, this weekend, this week, something. Yeah. Wow. So I think I, it's busy. It's not that this place is tight, but yeah. all green. All green. Our home for <laughs> two months. Mm -hmm. 